How's this for a good location, folks, in the Scottish Highlands? I think it's pretty spectacular. Need to take the Avata up. The only thing is it's a touch windy, to say the least. But look at those mountains. We need to get some shots. FPV style. Up and over, up and over, up and over. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. Moments later, however. Wow, okay. That's uncomfortable. Join me so I can show you what the DJI Avata can and cannot do in these extreme mountainous conditions. First things first, if you haven't done so already, do grab yourself a copy of our free ebook from Drone Zero to Drone Hero, 37 tips to get you flying like a filmmaker, packed with loads of useful information and fully updated for 2022. Also updated this year is our Drone Cinematography Masterclass version 3. If you're not aware of this astonishing online education, then do go down to the description below, click on the link for it and watch the promo video. You won't be disappointed. It's a touch windy, as I'm sure you can imagine. So we'll be careful and see how we get on. Okay, let's just have a little scoot around, get the lay of the land. See how we're getting on in these windy, windy, windy conditions. Yes, it is windy. Oh, it's slipping and sliding around a little bit. That's okay though, we can work with that. This landscape is incredible. Wow. Right, let's start off with a nice easy dive. We'll take this up a little bit in normal mode. I want to rotate round to reveal myself so we've got some kind of purpose behind this maneuver oh it's like caught a gust of wind up there didn't like that okay you can see that we've got some serious roll shenanigans going on there as the drone is fighting the wind i wonder how that's going to smooth out on the actual footage captured by the camera wow i think this drone is struggling a little bit with the conditions if i'm honest not to worry we're going to make the most of the situation anyway pretty good though and that's without head tracking switched on as you'll see in a second when we put head tracking on we can get a little bit more of a range of motion there enhance those dives a little bit wow look at this landscape let's just come up over this hill a little bit i'm not going to go too far oh my word oh, <laughs> look at this look at this oh, wow what are we doing again i've forgotten oh, i'm just looking at this that's incredible. Wow. Right, I don't want to go too far. Let's turn this right. Wow. And let's head back to the home point. Is this supposed to be a video about dives or something? I can't even remember. Oh my goodness. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. We'll pop it into sports mode, get a bit more juice going well supposedly we're only going six or seven meters a second that's because we're flying into the wind in sports mode this could be doing about 14 meters per second so let's set up that previous dive again but this time in sports mode definitely something that's worth doing is repeating maneuvers instead of just flying around in circles over and over again repeating maneuvers Get the lay of the land, reduce the possibility of any incidents. Right, let's leave it at that for now, 40, 50 meters. Let's turn in with the controller, point it down. This looks a bit smoother. There we go. In we come. We're hitting our top speed of 14 meters per second. I'm not gonna fly too low. Oh, it's quite exciting. It's quite exciting. Don't hit myself. Oh, it's exciting. And I'm going to do the reveal of the landscape again on the other side. I don't care if this is meant to be about dive. <laughs> I need to see this again. Let's do this reveal up from behind this ground. FPV style. Up and over, up and over, up and over. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Wow. 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 I... Okay, that's far enough away. Let's come back. It is far enough away, return to home. 
To add insult to injury, I didn't spot that the Avatar's SD card got full during that amazing up and over reveal of those mountains, which means we were stuck with the goggle view. Fresh battery, fresh memory card. It's definitely a bit uncomfortably windy. Let's try the head tracking, see if we can get a little bit more of a dive here. Arm the motors, double press. Up we go, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Okay, oh, it is flipping windy. Okay. Not to worry, there's nothing we can crash into here, but... <coughs> Excuse me. No one we can crash into here. Well, let's get the goggles on and have a go at those dives again. Woo, it's getting pushed about. I think we'll keep it close this time, not get too far away. Straight into sports mode this time. Let's gain some altitude. Oh, it's really struggling in this wind. Understandable. Okay, let's leave it to that for now. Hit the pause button for a second there. Swipe down. Head tracking on. Okay, when I unpause. Wow! Okay! That's uncomfortable. We don't like that. And with that, folks, my risk appetite was exceeded. I was not in the mood for losing another DJI Avata. So by and large, the Avata handles itself brilliantly in windy conditions. The issue then becomes one of how do you craft your shots? Take a look at this on the left. That's ultimately the shot I was wanting to create, but I didn't want it over at a 45 degree angle. But in order to fly that trajectory, the drone has to fight those strong winds coming in from the left, and hence it's tilted over at a 45 degree angle. You can combat that with the digitally stabilized horizon leveling, but that might not always be a desirable option. This is where the Mavic 3 comes in handy. It's blowing a hurricane up here and it's solid as a rock. You wouldn't be taking a Mini 3 Pro up in this, let me tell you. All right, let's go get some of that insane location over there. <laughs> 